Hi, I just wanted to shoot a short video to show you how we would do a product launch. These are very much the lifeblood of our business. They're the way in which we show our product to other people and to gain new customers. So first of all, you would get a small table, something like this, and just put out the products of your new distributor pack on there. Um, and so what I'm going to do is run through these products individually, just talk very briefly about the benefits of each one, and you would do this with your, your guests. Now what you would do, first of all, you just take a look at how we've arranged the table here. Um, you can lay them out however you would like, but you would try and lay them out in some sort of order so that they look neat and tidy. Ensure that you've got some literature here um, that comes into in your new distributor pack um, so that you can hand those round to your guests at some point in the, the course of the product launch. Um, you may have some samples out at the front as well, and obviously you're all important gels. Now, before you actually get started and talking about the products, what you would first of all do is have some of these uh, questionnaires. Now, these are available to download and print off from the Health Business Team Training website under Retailing Resources. Um, very, very useful. You'd have those either on the chairs or just to hand out as people uh, come in. And it's a way of getting the details of your customers and also finding out if they have any health issues for which our products could help them. Now what you might want to do, this, this particular questionnaire says that if they um, enter their details they'll be entered into a free prize draw to um, win a £5 Forever Living gift voucher which they can redeem obviously from yourself either on the evening or at another time. Uh, and the gift voucher themselves, so this is an example of a sheet of three here, um, they're available in denominations of £5, £10 and possibly I think higher as well. But the £5 ones are really good um, as an initial point and uh, very much make it quite a fun evening. So that's something you would start off with. When, when everyone is settled and happy, then you would start to talk through your products. Now, I normally start with the skincare, and I think the jelly is a great one. So the jelly, we call this first aid in a tube, okay? We would, we would open this, we might put a little bit on our finger, and we would pass this round for our guests, perhaps, to, to have a look at, maybe squeeze a little out of the tube and see the product for themselves. So what, what's good about the jelly? The jelly is like the pure aloe vera gel that has come out of the plant. It is fantastic for burns in particular. It is great for any sort of wound, abrasion, a sting, a spot, a bite, a scratch. What it will do, particularly with a burn but with other wounds as well, it will take that, that sort of that initial pain and that sting away. Um, what's so good about the yellow jelly? is that it soaks down into the, deeply into the skin very quickly. It soaks down into what we call the dermis layer and what it does is it stimulates those new cells to grow very quickly uh, and we have been taught that it typically will heal your skin about 72 hours more quickly than either not using anything or possibly using another product. Um, I've certainly seen this for myself on, on my own uh, skin and also my own children. Um, believe me, it's a staple in our bathroom cabinet. Um, the next product that we would talk about would be the Propolis Cream. So the Propolis, again, is one of our best-selling products in the range. Uh, so the Propolis itself is a product that comes from bees. It's actually what the bees use to line their hives and to make them sterile. Uh, and it, it has been said that a beehive is more sterile than an operating theatre. So what you do notice when you smell the product, it has a very um, a lovely smell, very sweet smell. Um, and this is, is a moisturising cream. Obviously it has our, our aloe vera in it. Um, and what's nice about it, despite it being quite a thick cream, it's very, very readily absorbed into the skin. Again, you would possibly put some in your hand and you'll pass this round to your guests for them to try. Um, it always gets a good response because people see that it soaks in very readily and that again is the aloe. Um, propolis is absolutely fantastic for eczema, for psoriasis, as is the jelly, I should mention, and um, those two products, and they can even be mixed together. Um, and we have, you know, lots and lots of customers who have had fantastic results with these products. Um, you know, it's great for hard skin, it's great for, for, as we said, flaky, dry skin, any kind of irritation, really. So we'll pop that one back there. So then we've got the aloe lotion. So this is a, a lighter weight lotion. Um, this one has added vitamin E. 
Um, it's, it's lovely, as I say, very lightweight and easily absorbed. It's great for popping on the kids straight out of the bath. Um, very, very soothing to the skin. Um, it's, it's great sort of for the whole family and you can use it all over the body as well as on the face. We've then got the aloe moisturising lotion, the purple lotion, very popular. Um, so this one has added collagen and elastin, so they're the things that plump your skin up. Um, it's fantastic as a primer under makeup, so it's great on your face, but it's great for all over the body as well. It's a little bit thicker than um, the, the blue aloe lotion, um, but it's uh, but not quite as thick as the propolis, so it's, it's a great sort of uh, in-between just depending what people are looking for, but great again for all of the family. So then we've got the heat lotion, a very popular product. Um, now the heat lotion, obviously what you will find, it's, it's got quite a distinctive smell um, because it's, it's got lots of lovely herbs in there. It's got uh, camphor, it's got menthol in there, it's got eucalyptus. Um, I suppose in a way it is our version of deep heat, but one of the key differences is that because it has the aloe in it, it will soak into the skin very quickly and it will provide relief from sore muscles. Um, so it's great if you've been out in the garden, you've been for a run, you know, you've just had a really hectic day and you're feeling tired and a bit sore, you pop some of this on, it smells great, it soaks in very quickly and it gets to work very quickly and will give relief. Um, you know, in a short amount of time. It's also great, you could pop it on the temples for a tension headache. Um, and another key benefit, it's fantastic if somebody is, is trying to get to sleep and they, they've perhaps got a cold or something, if you massage a little bit on the soles of the feet, and it can also be used in young children as well, it will aid a deep night's sleep. So it's a great, fantastic benefit there. We've then got our lovely aloe scrub. Um, this is a great one to pass around. It's got very, very, very tiny beads of uh, jojoba and um, it can be used on the face and all over the body. It's great for, you know, hard skin, great for on the feet. Um, because it is so gentle, um, it, it can be used two to three times a week, uh, but it's fantastic for exfoliating, getting rid of those dead skin cells and getting the skin, you know, to really be ready then to accept some of the, the other fantastic moisturisers that, that you might want to put onto it. So coming on to the front row here, we've got one of my absolutely favourite uh, products that we do in our range, and this is the Aloe Hand and Face Soap. You know, I believe this really should be a staple in every household, um, and particularly, you know, those that, that we know. Um, so Hand and Face Soap, so obviously it's a liquid soap, so it's fantastic for washing your hands, but on top of that, it's very, very gentle. So it can be used on the face, it can be used to remove makeup, and I quite often do, um, you know, because it's there, it's, it saves me having to necessarily get out another product. Um, it's very, very gentle around the eyes. It's great in the children's baths, it's very gentle for them, it's very conditioning and soothing for their skin. Uh, it can be used for shaving, and again, another added benefit that a lot of uh, our, our customers have reported back, it, it's great for washing the stains off children's clothes before you put them in the washing machine. I mean, who would have thought? Very gentle, but a, a very versatile product. Um, so then we move on to our shampoo and our conditioner. Um, lovely big bottles, so they do last for quite some time. And what we should re mention to our customers is about, about all of our products is that they are highly concentrated, which means we don't need to use very much of them. So for the shampoo, for example, we would say probably just, you know, nothing bigger than the size of a 10 pence piece will be absolutely plenty. Um, so what's great about our shampoo, obviously it's full of our fantastic aloe gel, but on top of that, it's got um, the, the jojoba again. And what that means is it will condition your hair and your scalp. It's very, very good for uh, people that have dry and flaky scalp, perhaps dandruff and things like that. Um, you know, it's great, again, can be used for all the family. I should also mention it can be used for the dog. You know, it can be used on animals as well. Um, none of our products are tested on animals and all of them are suitable. So that is something worth mentioning, actually. You know, perhaps if you do have customers that have, you know, pets, um, the jelly is very good for any pets that have any wounds, uh, the propolis as well. You know, so that's that's really handy to know, may gain them a few extra sales here and there. Um, so the conditioner, again, is obviously a great partner to the shampoo. Um, you know, you can pass this round to people, they can have a look at that, they can have a sniff, um, and will last them a good long time. We've then here got our Evershield, which is our deodorant. Fantastic product. Um, 
a roll-on deodorant so it lasts a good period of time. Um, what's very important to mention about this product is that it does not contain aluminium salts. And there's been a lot of things in the press recently about how they can potentially be linked to cancer. Um, so I know a lot of people now are very conscious and more aware of what is in their um, toiletries and their health and beauty products and more akin to looking at, at, at the label. And we can be very confident when presenting our products that we know that they are full of you know, natural ingredients and, and the purest aloe vera available. Um, so this is a great product. It will keep you smelling fresh. Um, it will last a good period of time. And a little tip as well is that I do believe it's very good for also soothing because it is basically a stick of aloe, um, you know, things like cracked heels on the feet. Now, you may not wish to use the same deodorant um, stick, but, you know, that, that's a great tip as well. We then come on to our hand sanitizer. Um, again, a fantastic product. I mean, obviously, having two young children, um, I always have a couple of these on me. You know, normally one in my handbag, one in my changing bag, perhaps one in the car. Um, it's a great product. And what customers will, will often uh, mention when you hand it round and they, they try this, you know, on their hands, is that it's not drying. You know, it's very readily absorbed. Um, it's not sticky, it's not gunky. And it doesn't have that kind of strong alcohol smell that a lot of the you know sort of top brands do have. Um, very reasonably priced product, and uh, you know really an everyday essential. Then we've got our tooth gel, um, absolutely fantastic product, very very popular. So what's great about our tooth gel? Well, it's very very kind to the teeth. It is a gel rather than a paste, so it is not abrasive. Um, it also contains the B propolis, which I should have mentioned earlier is, is antibacterial, it's anti-inflammatory, it's antifungal, so it's absolutely fantastic. Um, anybody that suffers from bleeding gums, from mouth ulcers, from bad breath, this tooth gel will, will sort them out. Um, it does not contain fluoride. Now, I know there's a bit of a debate there about how much fluoride we should have in, in you know, our toothpaste and our, our dental products. Um, what we do recommend to people is that perhaps they, they interchange this with their normal fluoride toothpaste. So perhaps use one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, but it will do your, your teeth and your mouth and your gums the world of good. And one little added benefit is that it does actually naturally whiten the teeth as well. Uh, no harsh chemicals in it whatsoever. That's a natural um, byproduct of, of that, so that's great. So also in your NDP pack, you, you do have a few of our supplement range. Um, so we've got here our Arctic Sea. So this is a, a daily vitamin that um, contains obviously the, the Omega-3, which is fantastic as we know for brain health, for, for eye health as well. Um, so, so that is a really good source there. Um, just I think you, you uh, take one or two a day of those, but absolutely fantastic. We've then got coming on to the bee pollen. Again, one of my absolutely all-time favourite products. So bee pollen is a superfood. They do say if you were stranded on a desert island and all you had was bee pollen and water, you could survive for quite some time. Um, without any food. That is because bee pollen is very, very high in protein. It's actually higher in protein than, than beef or eggs. Um, so these, what, what they will do, I mean, the, the health benefits are multiple. Uh, it's great for your skin, great for your immune system, it's great for your fertility, um, it's great for just your overall health and well-being. Um, and one of the things that we notice about bee pollen is that they will give you a burst of energy. Um, that is why, you know, they are, I think, so popular. They're completely healthy. You're not relying on a cup of coffee, um, which you know is going to give you a slump in, a, in a, an hour's time. Um, you can just take those as and when you need them. The effects will last about four hours. We would generally recommend that people do just take half a tablet or quarter of a tablet beforehand just to check that they're not allergic. It's very rare, but we do just mention that. And then it would be perhaps one or two in the morning. And um, There are great... Um, supplement to take alongside your drinking gel. And then you've got your Forever Daily, which is a fantastic multivitamin again. I take these every day alongside my bee pollen and my gel, and I have to say, and I'm, you know, this is truthful, I've never ever felt better. I have a very busy life, I have two young children, you know, I probably don't get as much sleep as I should, and I really do attribute the health benefits of these products to, to making me feel the way that I do. So, 
a bit of a whistle stop tour i'll just very quickly mention i've got here the aloe lips because obviously that comes in your uh, in your ndp pack as well so this obviously a fantastic lip balm i absolutely love it very very soft and easy to apply makes my lips feel um, lovely and conditioned but also because it's got the aloe and it's got some other added herbs in it it's fantastic uh, as a skin soother if you're out and about you know one of the children gets a scrape you can apply this straight away and it will help that skin start to heal before you get home and pop your jelly on so that's a great little tip there very very popular uh, and I should also mention that because they are very reasonably priced. They are quite good um, products. Sometimes if you've got a customer that has uh, perhaps purchased a few things from you, you might want to reward your customer and give them a free aloe lips. Great little tip there. Um, so I'm now going to talk about the um, our, core, our core product really, which is the drinking gel. So first of all, the yellow. So we know that this product is responsible for around 50% of our company's turnover. So it's, it's responsible for sales of over $1 billion per year, which is just phenomenal. Um, to think that, you know, a lot of people think it doesn't really taste that great either. Um, so when we're talking about the aloe gel, uh, we want to be saying to people, we know that it contains over 200 different compounds. It contains... 19 of the 20 amino acids that the body needs for healthy uh, optimum functioning um, you know it's, it's basically packed full of vitamins particularly the b vitamins um, and lots of things that we struggle perhaps to get in our diet so it is great as a health tonic as, as a boost but we know on top of that that it, it's really effective as a gut cleanser and we know that it promotes good um, the growth of good bacteria in the gut um, uh, we know also it will build up the immune system so it's great just to help you in all round health um, health and, and vitality really obviously we have to be careful we don't make any medical claims but what we can say is that we have testimonials from hundreds and thousands of customers who it's helped their IBS um, you know it's particularly effective for helping people with any issues with the digestive system whether that just be bloating um, as I say IBS or something more serious like colitis or even Crohn's um, you know what we would say you know when people uh, are keen to try the gel is that it can take you know at least four to six weeks for them to feel a real difference what we don't want is somebody buying a bottle and thinking i'm going to drink this for a couple of days and i'm going to feel like a new person it will take some time for it to get into their system it is a cumulative effect that will build up so we would show them the cup and we would say to them ideally they want to be drinking the 60 ml a day and if they're drinking 60 ml a day a bottle like this will last them around two weeks so if they're going to commit to that it would be about two bottles a month and what we want to be saying to them is that you know this is a lifestyle choice that they would be making for for their their, their optimum health and well-being if they think oh i'm going to drink the gel it's going to clear up my skin i'm going to feel great then i can stop drinking it the problem they'll have is that that those benefits they felt will not continue they need to drink the gel regularly uh, but what we find is that our customers once they start feeling those benefits they want to have that little shot of, of, of goodness every morning some customers if they have an acute condition such as um, let's say they've got psoriasis acne you know something like that they may initially want to drink more so they could drink up to 100 120 mils a day which would be two cupfuls um, but we'd only generally recommend that as I say if people have sort of a severe condition that they're wanting to sort of really kick start the body and, and get that gut cleansed um, so maybe for a week or two and then they would go back to the 60 mil so I'm just going to talk through now the, the other gels um, so we've got here the berry nectar very very popular so this has 15% less of the um, the normal gel and then it has added cranberries and apple. So it has a boost of antioxidants, it's very high in vitamin C. Um, so this is great for the skin, it's great for, um, it actually helps people with asthma in particular, something to do with um, one of the products in the apple I believe. Um, so there's a little tip for you there. It's also very popular with children because it's it's much more sweet tasting than the original gel. Um, so that is, is a great product and a very popular. We've then got the Bits and Peaches, which is flavoured with natural peaches. Um, again, a sweeter tasting gel, very popular with children, or, or as I say, anybody who just wants to have the benefits of the gel, but not keen on the, the yellow. 
and then our blue top which is our freedom so the freedom gel is slightly different again it's the 15 percent less of the the original aloe gel but this one has some added supplements so it has glucosamine chondroitin and something called msm which is a natural anti-inflammatory so this product is great for anybody who suffers from joint pain stiffness mobility issues and perhaps they've they've done a lot of sports over the years and they've you know um put a lot of wear and tear on their joints people like that maybe somebody who says you know what i, I actually do suffer with arthritis and um, they've got issues with cartilage perhaps um we do just have to mention i think there is a sticker on the bottle but the glucosamine in this product does come from shellfish so this product is not suitable for anyone that has a shellfish allergy so just something to bear in mind there but it, it does say on the bottle but we, we should just be be checking that with our customers but a fantastic product and um, what i would say is if you have a an audience at your product launch who are more mature and maybe um, suffering with some of those problems, you may want to taste the freedom for them. If you have an audience that perhaps you think, well, actually, probably the yellow or the berry would be more um, suitable for them, you don't necessarily need to taste the freedom. You can um, make that decision based on your your audience that you're having. Um, I should just mention actually with the freedom that the freedom is flavoured with um, natural orange. So it's a lovely flavour, it's a lovely tasting drink, and again, is full of vitamin C. So when we're talking about the gel, and I would generally run through the skincare first and then come to the gel later in the presentation, what you would do is you would um, nip to your local pound shop and you'd get some of these little shop glasses. They're about a pound for 40, so they're very reasonable. You'd pop on a tray a few of these glasses, you'd work out sort of how many you'd need depending on your, your number of guests and how many gels you were going to taste. But I would always recommend you taste a minimum of two. You'd always taste your, your yellow first, and you want to make sure obviously you've got that in the fridge, it's nice and chilled, and then probably your berry, or your peaches, or your freedom, depending on what, what you're tasting. So you'd put some in the, in the, in the glass, you'd bring it along, and you'd, you'd talk about it, and you'd, you'd offer that to your guests to try, probably just half a, half a shot there, so it's just a little mouthful. You'd always do your yellow first, and then you'd go on to one of your other tasting gels, because we know that these do generally taste a little bit sweeter um, people generally not in not in all cases but often do prefer it and so what we're doing is we're giving them the yellow gel to try and then we're giving them something else to compare it to and what we find when we do that is rather than just giving them the yellow and people are going to take that shot they're going to think i don't like that i'm not buying it i like the sound of the health benefits but i don't like it i'm not drinking it whereas if we give them an alternative and actually preface the yellow gel by telling them at first it doesn't actually taste very nice or it's quite bitter. Their expectation is it's not very nice and quite often they'll say, actually that's not so bad, that's okay, I can drink that. Um, but yeah, if you, if you give them that and then you give them one other, they're then thinking in their head, okay, am I having yellow or am I having berry? And that is, is, is quite a clever um, tactic really because obviously your product launch is about showcasing your product but particularly finding gel drinkers because we know that is the way to build a, a stable and profitable monthly income from your business. And not only that, you know, you are helping the health and wellness of, of lots of lovely people round and about you. So um, I'm just going to go on there, from there to talk about some additional products that you may want to think about investing in um, to talk about at your product launches. So on here, obviously, we've got the Clean 9. Okay, so the Clean 9, as we know, is one of our best-selling products around the world. It is a nine-day cleansing program. We have to be careful not to say it's not a diet, and we can't even say that it's a detox. It is a cleanse, it's a nine day cleanse. And so what do we get in this little box? So what we get is we get a meal replacement shake and the choice there is chocolate or vanilla. I should mention that vanilla is the more popular flavor, uh, but for people who are really sweet tooth like me, I prefer the chocolate. But what I would say is the vanilla shake is perhaps more versatile to mix berries with and so on. Um, you do then get two bottles of the yellow gel, which are going to be consumed in the nine days. That's obviously a higher than average dose, and so that is what's going to have those beneficial effects of cleansing the system and kick-starting it onto a healthier path. What I should mention here is that um, it is okay to, to change the yellow gel for the berry nectar or for the peaches. Um, so 
If you have a customer who says, you know what, I really want to do the cleanse, but I just don't like the taste of the yellow gel, that's absolutely fine. You would say to them, not a problem. You'd order a couple of bottles of, of berry nectar when you're popping your order through, and you would substitute that in for the yellow gel, because you know the yellow gel you will be able to sell on to your other, other yellow drinking customers or even consume it yourself. Um, so what else do you get in there? You get a box of supplements. So it's lovely and neatly packaged. And in there you'll find some blister packs of two supplements, Oncol Garcinia, that is a natural um, herb, which um, has been used for, for many, many years as a, as a dietary supplement. And what it does, it suppresses your appetite, but in a completely healthy and natural way. Just makes you feel that little bit fuller. Um, and then we also have something in there called Therm, a fantastic product. What this does, it, it boosts your metabolism. Metabolism. It makes things burn a little bit quicker, um, and it, it is also actually great for boosting your energy levels, combating fatigue, and just making you feel fantastic. There are also in there some little sachets of something called fiber. These are water soluble, so you mix them with water to make them into a drink. I have to say, it doesn't taste particularly good or bad. It's pretty, pretty watery, but it, it's quite an important supplement because it helps to regulate your, your system, your digestion, and also helps you to feel full. And um, Alongside that, you get your all-important shaker for your shake. Um, so what you would mention to your customer is that ideally we recommend the shake is made with um, probably an alternative to cow's milk, so perhaps almond milk, and they would want to buy the unsweetened variety. Um, my personal favourite is coconut milk. It's very low in calories, it's quite sweet, it's absolutely delicious. Um, so that's that's a good one for them to try. There's all sorts, there's rice milk, there's soy milk, there's lots out there. Um, and they would just put 300 mils of milk into their um, container, they'd put the milk in first, and then a level scoop of their shake, and a good old shake, um, to make their, their delicious shake. Um, what else do we get? We get a measuring cup, obviously for the aloe, very important. We get a, uh, a tape so they can see how they're doing with their inches. Um, we then get our, our all-important booklet, which obviously is, is very comprehensive and goes through with them. Um, important to mention on here on page 11, you've got your free foods. So with this cleanse, they can snack on days one and two. They're not having normal meals, but they can snack on any number of these fruit and vegetables here. Um, so that's fantastic for them to know. So that's your clean dye. Um, very, very popular. I'll pop that to one side. You've then also got here the Sonia kit. So the Sonia is our premium range of skincare. So it might very well be that your customers are using their Clinique, their Clarins, um, their Lancome. And you know we have a range of skincare here which we know in terms of ingredients, in terms of effectiveness, is going to be just as good if not better than those brands. But the difference is it's very, very natural. Um, and because of the aloe vera, very, very soothing on the skin. So. All of these products are available to buy individually, but you might want to invest in um, one of these gorgeous Sonia skincare kits so that you can um, obviously use the products yourself and also showcase the range that we have. So this contains a brilliant cleanser, um, so great for um, not only taking your makeup off, but also just cleansing the face in the morning. And what I would add is that it does not feel greasy like some cleansers do. It's very, very fresh smelling, um, sort of lemon and cucumber. It's really beautiful. You've then got a gorgeous toner um, here. Ooh, I'll just pull out. It's great for taking your makeup off, really soothing around the eyes. It's not stinging at all. Um, great on the skin. We've then got a lovely serum. So this is very, very light. It's very easily absorbed. And you would put that on before you put your moisturiser on just to really prime the skin and give it that, that boost of um, hydration that it needs. Um, we've then got our moisturizers now i should just point out you only do get one moisturizer in the kit which is the balancing cream but in the range we also do a deep moisturizing cream uh, and again it might be useful for you to to order a deep moisturizing cream so that you've got both to show your customers these are incredibly popular at launches these little pops and the balancing cream is gorgeous it's very light and very easily absorbed and the deep moisturizing cream although it's thicker is still very easily absorbed and is just great for perhaps more mature skin or um, those that just feel that their skin is a little bit drier uh, and needs that little bit more that burst of, of moisture. Um, I've also got in here, oh, 
put that stone back in. Um, a deep cleansing exfoliator. So that is lovely again. So basically a scrub, um, but it's got the, the lovely lemon, the cucumber in it again, um, and it's got very, very fine beads in it. So it's very soothing on the skin. It can be used two to three times a week. It's not irritating at all. So that's your Sonia. Um, in addition, we've got our gorgeous light up lip glosses. These are incredibly popular. Um, they're great for gifts. Um, so. They've got the light in them, I don't know if you can see that, but um, they're light up. It doubles as well as helping you to find the keys in the bottom of your handbag or whatever. It's a common problem for me. They've got a little mirror on the side, um, so you can be there, you can apply your lip gloss. Um, they come in five different shades, so it's always worth sometimes having a couple of those. You know, even if it's one that you're using yourself from your makeup bag, you can just pop it on the table for people to see the, the different range of colours and and be able to see that it's 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 not sticky so we would also have on our table we'd have at least a couple of copies of our product brochure so that we can hand those round to our guests towards the end and they can have a look through uh, the different products in our range and we would also have some samples okay now ideally what you would do is you would have a little bag something like this these can be bought very cheaply from ebay amazon they're often um favor bags things like that but they're great for putting some of your samples in just two or three to give to your guests as a little goodie bag and um, to say thank you very much for coming you might want to pop one of your business cards in so i put one of those in um, so that even if you know they've, they've come along, they've not bought anything on the evening, they've gone away, they've tried some samples and then they've got my details to contact me if they should like to try something later on. Um, we should also mention obviously if you are selling any of your drinking gels, you need to make sure that you give your customer a measuring cup so they can be ordered in your back office. So you've got your measuring cups there. Your samples, your samples come in a pack of 10, I think they're 140, very reasonable. They come with the, the product information card as well. So what I tend to do is I get my stickers that I've ordered. Um, so all the links for these things are on the health business team training page um, under retailing resources. I'll give your upline a shout if you're not sure, but you've got your stickers there. So you'd put that onto the bottom of your um, product information card. I then just sellotape the sample to it and then you know I, I put those in the sample bag or I might have a few loose for people to take away. So they're very handy to have. Um, you also want to invest in some bags, very important. So we've got the large carrier here, um, which is great You know, if you're selling perhaps your gels or larger items. And then we've got the lovely frosted carrier here, um, really nice carrier bag, good quality. Um, that's great, you can actually fit I think a couple of gels in there, um, but that's lovely. Let's just, oops, Daisy, let's just see. There we go. A couple of gels in there, perfect. Um, and don't forget at the end of the evening that you want to do your um, prize draw for your gift voucher. So what I would recommend is that you collect your questionnaires in and you perhaps have a look and see because people might have put down, yes, you know, I do suffer from eczema or I do have a problem with um, feeling tired and lethargic or I do suffer from IBS or my husband does or my mum has arthritis. And, and what you can then do is obviously you've then got a, a lead in to talk to those people perhaps you know individually once you finish presenting about some of the products that they might want to try and that could help them but what you would do is you would fold your questionnaires up uh, for your prize draw you know pop them in a bowl and um, you know obviously pick, pick one out you've then got your vouchers here uh, very simple you just fill in your details on there and it might be that you give them a month's expiry so that they can always come back and purchase something later on um, I'm just trying to think there. I think I have covered most things there. Um, so that is basically how you would go through and do a product launch. The main thing is that you just be yourself, that you enjoy it. And you remember that you don't have to be an absolute expert. You, you know, you practice um, the features and the benefits of the product, but you will be the most knowledgeable person on that evening about aloe vera, I can guarantee you. So if you forget something, none of your guests are going to know. You just smile and you carry on and you can pop it in later. Um, I hope this has been really helpful and have a great time in your project launching. Thank you.